What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. My favorite photo, the selfie. And so I picked up another selfie stick. I wanted to check this one out really for a specific reason. I actually wanted to see if I could mount one of my LED work lights on one of these too. And so I picked this one up. It is by, as you might be able to see there, Young Tang. And I've been trying it out and I really like it. It's probably not a lot different than any other selfie stick. It's, it's just fine. What it has here is it comes just like this and it comes with this little uh, cradle for a phone. So I'll show you that in a second here. But it's nicely constructed. It's all plastic or a polymer. You can see here it's kind of um, thin in the middle there. But it, what it does is this hollowed out piece allows it to hug the uh, aluminum tube here with the selfie stick in it. And so when you put it all in there, it's about as compact uh, a package as you can possibly make it, which is really nice. And it's really easy to grip. It's nice, um, it fits fits well in the hand, feels good. Now, the only problem with it is it has this little carrier here for this Bluetooth remote, which you can pull out here and then use this to work as a shutter on your Android or iPhone. And then it snaps back in here. The only problem with that is, is it's kind of like a lightsaber. When you put on a lot of stuff, it kind of feels a little weird in the hand. And as you can see, I can put my thumb over it and stuff. But if it didn't have it there, it would even be more comfortable to hold in the hand. So if you're using this like a selfie stick and a handle, you're kind of wanting to grab it down here. And it's just a little bit short. Uh, you can... So my point is, let's say I have this over like this, so I'm using this as a selfie stick and I wanna hit this with the thumb, it's in the right position, but it's kind of not super comfortable because my hand is uh, grabbing the bottom part of the, the remote there. Not a big deal, it's not like uncomfortable, like, oh, I can't hold this, but it was just if we were getting that kind of nice round feel of the handle right there, that'd be even better. Um, this is all plastic right here, and then also what you can see here is we have a little uh, reflector so that if you have your phone up here or if it's uh, mounted straight you can kind of see what it's seeing in kind of a wide angle lens. Now you can see here there's a little ball joint and if I uh, loosen up the screw right here that allows this to move around. So I can put it in the position I want and then tighten it down and now the sucker won't move. On top of that we have a quarter inch screw here so you can mount your phone or any type of carrier including the one it comes with and then you have this little disc for tightening it down. Uh, in terms of extending it out, you just pull it out. There's no detents or anything like that. It has nice resistance, so I don't, I'm not worrying about it collapsing. And in fact, what ends up happening is when I attached the LED work light on the top, which is actually pretty heavy, it had no problems holding that up. It didn't collapse under its own weight. I don't even have it extended as far as I could here. Let me pull it out here. I just want to show you kind of what it will do. So you can see how far it will extend out there. I would call that like a yard, about through a few feet, three feet, and then it will collapse down. Now, I do want to open this up here. So when you open up the bottom here, you can see how we have little angled rubber pads on the bottom, so you'll sit flat. When you do have it angled or extended as far out as possible, you do have this pole has been all the way pulled up, so you don't have anything uh, hanging down. My point of bringing that up is if I go ahead and collapse this thing down um, to its kind of its lowest state, what you can see is that the pole will interfere with the legs. So in, even if you want a short tripod standing up, what you have to do is you have to push this up. So you're going to have some height on your tripod. You know, it's going to be no shorter than about this. This is about the shortest you can make it and use it as a tripod. Not a big deal. You know, that's probably about uh, seven inches tall. So not a big deal. Now, let me uh, just show you the cradle that it comes with too, because this was actually a little bit higher quality than I was expecting. Uh, you can see here with this, the screw hole receiver, the female part there, I can open it up just like this. So it, it's nice that it collapses flat. It's easy to travel with. We have a couple of hooks here, some uh, edge here so that, and then rubber pads on the bottom so that when you put your phone in there, you don't have to worry about it sliding out. And then we have a thumb screw right here, which will allow you to uh, open it up, put your phone in and tighten it down. Now, the nice thing about this is that it's gonna hold on to things really well. And so, especially in a selfie stick when you're moving around, maybe holding it over something that you don't wanna drop it into, you can tighten this sucker down. You don't have to worry about your phone falling out as opposed to just a spring-loaded design where you know something might bump it or maybe you've, you've got it off center and there's too much weight and it kind of uh, pries itself out. So this is kind of nice that you have this screw down uh, cap right here and if I show you, That'll allow you to screw it on here, just like this. Uh, am I lining that up right? There we go. Now, ah, still not lined up right. All right, there we go. And screw it down, and then I can tighten it up like this. 
and now they won't go anywhere. So you can kind of get it in the position you want. Especially, you can angle it as well as kind of turn this into the position you want and then lock it down with that screw right there. So I think overall, a really nice little selfie stick package. It's got a lot going for it. Um, I was using it to hold my LED work light and I had no problems doing that. So it's gonna be a really useful tool as we shoot videos here. But just wanted to show it to you if you wanna pick one up. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.